and here you'll just have to check for updates uh add your hardware id to whitelist inject your client and you're good it's high avatar crash so you know you don't get crashed and i think my game just crashed yo what's going on guys it's kai with a six and welcome back to another video i haven't made a video in a long time shut the fuck but this is the only vr chat client you must have now before we get into this video i would like to explain a couple of things i'm gonna be walking around uh this is gonna be timestamps on this video if y'all want to just go look at everything y'all probably gonna see me walking around and you know just looking at this place i just found it um i just want to give a quick disclaimer void is not for you know fun utilities it's mostly for protection which is why i'm showcasing it uh, if you want a fun client you should probably go to notorious munchin or i would recommend zero day which uh it's a free client so if you want to mess around for fun for free i have zero day go into the description you can get that for free so there's that um and whatever else y'all need will be in the description or it'll be in the comments or it'll be in my discord server and i think my game just crashed my game just crashed and we are back um I had to fix a couple of things because uh obviously as y'all know my game just crashed but yeah so the features that they have is mostly for security so if y'all are trying to look for spun stuff i already, I already know what to do anyways now let's get into the features we're gonna start off with the loader you have to put your key in here when you buy it um the prices are in the description so if y'all want to buy this i would highly recommend it over any client some clients are probably better than void but for a starter client and it's only at ten dollars a month uh just to support the creator you know it's a, it's a really good client but yeah so what you want to do is click authenticate and here you'll just have to check for updates uh add your hardware id to whitelist inject your client and you're good but after you did that um you should see void or i like to use this little feature but you can do whatever um so let's just go here so safety modules they have anti-world triggers I'm, I'm not gonna read all these but you should probably get an understanding of what all these are but if you don't uh anti-instance lock makes yeah you can just look at the bottom we all see so anti-block you can see people when they block you you can see when people join invisibly um in the logs it's high avatar crash so you know you don't get crashed into audio crash you don't get audio crash avatar blacklist uh blacklist avatars that void automatically uh cancels these are all just for security what i have on is what i would suggest keeping on um anything else that's off i would say this that's just optional but i would suggest keeping all these on and then these i would suggest keeping all these on it does come with a you know downside and the only downside is that you cannot see uh avatars and what i mean is like let's say this avatar that i have on you wouldn't be able to see it if i had like some weird like gun shit on it and some features are missing on some avatars so if you want all that to go on just go to you know safety and you can turn all this off uh it also comes with a config you'll just have to ask me for it in dm and show proof that you actually have void because i don't know if void even allows configs to get out like that so uh, just dm me and show me proof that you have void and i'll just drop it to you for security we have miscellaneous which is hardware id spoofing which i use in case you get banned um fps spoofing you know just because yeah i don't know why i put that on but there's there's some people who think that like i'm still here when i'm not um ping spoofing because it shows like i'm on like twenty thousand ping just to mess with all those client users that i think they know everything uh you got name tags player esp uh everything else is optional this is this is just crashers i would suggest using corrupt because this is corrupted asset bundles and i'm not gonna go into detail what that is it's just just know that it crashes quest P quest users and pc users but these two were just for like pc users and quest users and this is audio crash and then this is miscellaneous i keep all these off because it's you know it's just there these are for the worlds to export your friends to another account or import your friends from an account 
your old account to this one so i already have my accounts on my friends exported so i can just add them if i get banned on this uh auto always auto load void and custom plates are just optional module settings uh like i said like you can optionally turn these on these are my settings i have all these like my ping is i have always have it at like i'm gonna keep it at 999 just because it looks cool and my ping I mean my fps i just yeah fps i just keep it like this so that's it for void and this is we're not gonna yeah that 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 that's that so that's it if y'all did enjoy this video or if y'all are at least convinced uh just check, take my word for it i don't personally i don't even know any of the void owners so i can't really say that like i know them but this apartment is fucking dope um, anyways that's gonna be all for today's video if y'all enjoyed make sure to drop a like and a sub for your boy show me some love and that for the dude the link is in the description everything y'all need is gonna be in the description make sure to drop a like and a sub better hit 1k i'll appreciate it if y'all can like it sub up and with that being said i'm gonna see all y'all later peace out